we are back thank you for tuning in to sundays at the square i'm your host tony ringos and we are talking to the beautiful ladies of delta Phi kai military sorority incorporated yes and we're talking about a very important subject today which is ptsd if you don't know what ptsd stands for it stands for post Yes, post-traumatic stress disorder. And so you guys are doing a 5K. I'm really, really, really excited about that. Um, And you're going to do it on Saturday, June 23rd. I'm going to talk to this beautiful lady sitting next to me with this beautiful natural curls. Her name is (laughs) Miss Nicole, and she is going to tell us about this PTSD awareness walk. So we're going to do a PTSD 5K Awareness Walk on June 23rd at the Colleen Community Event Center at 2201 East Veterans Memorial Boulevard. Um, It's going to be from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. We are going to be registering people on site that morning. Uh, The registration is $20. Okay. Um, And portions of the proceeds will be donated to Central Texas um, Veterans Healthcare System. Awesome, awesome. So tell me about, um, why did you guys pick the proceeds to go there? Well, they're doing the research. They're the ones we feel that are really looking into helping the veterans um, with PTSD. Mm-hmm. Um, they have the, they have counseling, they have group counseling, and they also reach out to the family members. They have mm-hmm. counseling for the family members. Um, Which to, is so important. Right, because so many times it's the family members who are at home with the soldiers and they don't know. They don't get debriefed. They don't get to know what the signs are when the soldiers come back and they have the PTSD. Right. And they're living with it every day right. and do not know how to handle it. Right. Right. So they also need to get counseling to learn how to deal with it because they are going through it. The, the kids are going through it with it every day. Wow. Wow. And you that you're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. And a lot of times um, people don't think about the kids or they don't think about the spouse or even the parents or people that are just, you know, significant other, whoever that has to deal with it. And, you know, it's like you you watch a loved one leave as one person and then they come home and they're a completely different person and it's like how do you handle that you know um the things that they used to enjoy and i I, but i've gone through some forms of depression and i think most of mine had to do with um uh postpartum after i had my babies and i would go through uh, depression and I would go through this funk where nothing that I really liked to do before was even important to me anymore. It was like those things didn't interest me and it was almost as if I lost my identity as a person. It was like something was taken away from me. And I remember uh <laughs> I remember after having my baby, I went to my um doctor and I was like, I'm going crazy. Put me on something. I can't and he would not. He was like, look this is called postpartum. You're going to get over it. And it'll have, just trust me, I really didn't believe that I was going to be able to get over it because I just felt like I was in a funk. And I think that that's the difference between maybe postpartum and PTSD. PTSD doesn't just go away. Right. You know, postpartum, after a while, my hormones got back in check. I was back, I was okay. And I didn't need the, what, you know, any med- medication or anything like that. Now, there's some women that may have to have it after, after having a child. I just happened to be one of those that didn't. But I, but what is so hard for me to imagine is having to live with this and deal with those feelings day in and day out. How do you continue to keep moving? What do you guys do? For me, I, yeah, right on. for me, I seek counseling mm. and, you know, I take medication and I understand that I have PTSD. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not going to run from it. Mm-hmm. I refuse to be shunned by it. It's, it's everywhere. Right. And you just have to accept it, 
do what you have to do and move on with it. Right. Yeah. And it's and it, it's not something that takes over you as a person. It's just something that you just happen to be dealing with. Right. Right. And like I said, you have to know your triggers. And that's the important part. You have to know your triggers. And like Nicole said, get your family engaged in it. Because a lot of a lot of family members are unaware mm-hmm. that what they're going through. And it, it can destroy your family. But get involved in the counseling. Seek counseling. Ask about it. Yeah. Read up on it. Do whatever you have to do to make yourself and your family whole again. Yeah. When those people that don't get help... And they have those those things where I see, you know, one of the things that just just really blew my mind. I was watching the news yesterday and someone went into the church parking lot and shot and killed themselves in Lakeway in Austin in the church parking lot inside of their their vehicle. And I just was like to do it in a church parking lot. To me, that was it was so deep. I was like, they really had to be at a place of complete despair. Like they couldn't, they obviously, they couldn't even see a way out of what they were going through. How do you help to reach out to someone to keep them from spiraling and you kind of see them going down that path? And why is it that it's able to take over like that? Well, one of the ways that we try to help is by awareness, like the 5K, because a lot of people are struggling with this, you know, some of our brothers and sisters in arms and just people in general, and they don't know. They don't know. Yes. Like Michelle said, that's why it's so important to seek information, read up on it, you know, seek counseling, because we don't want anyone to get to that point. You know, we don't want anyone to get to that point to where they feel that they want to commit suicide. That's yes. why awareness is so important. If one of our listeners that are listening right now and they happen to be dealing with something and they need help, where can they go to get some help? You can call a 1-800-CRISIS hotline. You can contact the Central Texas um, VA. They have mm-hmm. a 1-800 number. Mm-hmm. There are other resources within Colleen. I'm sure there's some in Temple. Just talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. Reach out to somebody. You can even call 211, guys. You can call 211 and you can call that from anywhere. And they will, and you can let them know and they can point you in the right direction or where you can get some help. And it doesn't mean that something is wrong with you. It doesn't mean that you're inadequate or less than a person, just like people develop cancer, just like people develop diabetes, just like people develop high blood pressure or liver disease or any of these things. It's the same way you can have an issue or something that triggers something and it, and it causes an imbalance and it's okay. It's okay. It does not make you less of a person. And I can't, say that enough because it's so crazy how mental health is so taboo like people will they'll deal with cancer and they'll say you know they'll have all these um like you said like i'm so excited to see this because i've never seen this before but how many cancer walks have we seen you know on a march of dimes aids awareness we see so many things that affect the physical body but we don't really see a whole lot that's talking about our mind which we know our mind controls everything else our mind is what gives us the impulses to do the things that we do and so I'm just really, really excited you, that you guys are um, doing that. And again, I want to tell our listeners, if you're listening, please get some help. Call 211. You said 1-800-CRISIS hotline. Yes, there's a 1-800-CRISIS um, hotline that the Central Texas VA has. You can go on their website. There are resources that tell you who you can reach out to, numbers you can call, email. And like I said, there are other resources within Colleen and Temple as well. Just reach out to someone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now let's talk about, uh, let's get back on this 5k. So, so tell me a little bit about it. How does it work? I've never done a 5k before. So I'm, I'm actually, if I can, um, I'm going to try to make it myself. Um, but if I'm not able to, and if some of our listeners are able to come and make it, tell us a little bit about what we can expect. So we're going to have some vendors out there. Um, we're going to have goodie bags that you can go up there. We're going to be giving away goodie bags. It's going to be full of um, information. Um, we have some giveaways that uh, Karen has put together for us. Um, 
We're going to have a DJ out there. Okay, DJ. We have sponsors from McDonald's. We have sponsors from Sam's Club. Sam's Club. We Jersey have Mike. Jersey Mike's. Um, this Texas, is Texas Veterans Commission will be oh, out this there. This is big. The city of Colleen. Texas Veteran Ve Texas Veterans Commission. The city of Colleen. Yes, and as far as the city of Colleen, we're also going to have the mayor is going to come out and speak and do a proclamation for that day. All right, shout out Jose Sicar. You better do your thing. <laughs> and we right. also have a guest speaker as well. Awesome. So, how does a five k work, Miss Nicole? Well, we're gonna. You can come out there. You can walk. You can run. You can bring your bicycle out there. As long as you come out there and you support, we you are more than welcome to come out. And so we just walk. Where we yes, walking? we have a we have a route. Oh, okay. Um, we can have people out there. Wait, to, is there a whole lot of rocks and hills and stuff. No rocks, no hills. Thank it's you, a, Lord. <laughs> it's gonna be a smooth path. We're gonna I have like smooth path, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, we're gonna have people out there to show you the path. So you won't get lost. Okay. Um, yes, I need that. Because <laughs> child, make, I can turn around. We'll make sure that you are very well hydrated. Awesome. Yes, thanks to Sam's Club, we're going to have enough water out there for everyone. Awesome. And so a 5K, does that mean five miles? No. Help a sister out. No, it's not five miles. <laughs> it's 3.2 Oh, miles. 3.2. Right. So is it that that's 5,000 feet? What's 5K? Why does it say 5K? Why does it say 5K? Y'all know either. Listen. <laughs> Ooh, you got me. I'm going to say, I think, listen, Google, Google it, but yeah. I'm going to say, I think it means 5,000. Kilometers. 5, kilometers. kilometers. Yeah. Oh, kilometers? Not yeah. 5 kilometers. Oh, you knew the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> got me out here looking yeah. crazy. <laughs> Listen, you learn something new every day. But <laughs> we would like everybody to come out and donate because we're giving 80% of the proceeds back to Central Texas Veterans Health Care Administration. Oh, that's to awesome. 80%. And what we have left over will go into a bank account for next year so we can make this bigger and better in every Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Right. So ain't nobody ain't nobody going to get no bundles no. off of this. No. Ain't nobody going and putting gas in their car off of this. No. Listen, cause you gotta, you gotta listen. You're right. You have to let people know right. because right. then I ain't going because I don't know they listen. They this called transparency. Correct. So they put this out on the airways for thousands and thousands of people to hear. You heard it first. The proceeds are going back to the Texas Veterans Health Administration, mm -hmm. and then the other small percentage is going into an account to help make next year bigger and better. You can't get no better than that, folks. Can't get right. no better than that. So. We are going to the 5K PTSD Awareness Walk. We're going to help the women of Delta Phi Chi Military Sorority Incorporated to promote PTSD awareness. It's going to be Saturday, June 23rd, 2018 from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Colleen Community Event Center. That's 2201 East Veterans Memorial Drive in Colleen, Texas. Registration for all registration information or T-shirt giveaways. Oh, we're going to have T-shirts in? Y'all got T-shirts and stuff too? You listen, hi. If I can't make it, can y'all put me a T-shirt too? All right. We got you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> we got you. Yeah. <laughs> now listen. Oh, y'all put y'all numbers up here, y'all. So, I Yes, oh. it, the three of us put okay. this together. The Just three the, of y'all. The three of us and Colleen. Y'all better together. be the bomb. <laughs> we are the bomb. That's what I'm talking about. Now, do y'all have a Facebook page? No. Okay. Yeah. So I got to put y'all number out there. All right. Now, listen, these ladies is cute and everything, but they don't want you calling their phone, trying to take, they don't want you. <laughs> uh, I seen you on the live video. <laughs> uh, and I just want to know. This is not what this is about, folks. For more information about the 5K, you can contact Nicole at 254-931-1416. You can contact Michelle at 254-630-1759 or Miss Karen at 254-449-6448. Now, I ain't repeating that too many times. <laughs> Don't be weird. I'm telling y'all now because if I find out, I'm going to trace your number.
number and I'm going to find you myself. Okay? <laughs> All right. Saturday, June 23rd. I'm just playing y'all. At the Colleen Community Event Center. It's the PTSD Awareness Walk. It's a 5K, y'all. Make sure you put some comfortable shoes on. Bring your bike. Walk, run, skip dance do whatever you do there's gonna be little hover boys whatever you want to do skateboard skate you know whatever you want to do you know you just come on and come on out here to the colleen community event center at 2201 east veterans memorial drive in colleen texas now this is a very 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 important cause and i want to thank you guys so much for coming into sundays at the square talking to your girl today about what you guys got going on and i just see nothing but great things for you guys i, I just i can't wait to see what next year is going to be like i know this year is gonna be the bomb.com these sponsors they got some real sponsors y'all they ain't getting the you know uh joe blow uh shoe shine <laughs> shop they got um for real they got mcdonald's and jersey mics and stuff and sam's club and we gonna have plenty of water you ain't gonna die because you know people get scared and stuff when they talk about outdoor stuff in the summertime it's plenty of water you'll be hydrated folks you'll be hydrated you'll be hydrated again thanks you thank you guys again for coming thank in. you for inviting us yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes and y'all make sure you follow your girl Tony Ringo that Tony Ringo music on Instagram you can also go on my website www.tonyringomusic.com and of course you know you can always find us on Facebook now remember y'all always remember there's enough sun for everyone to shine. Y'all be blessed.